welcome to the Global Innovation Field Trip. I'm glad you are here. Um, what I would like you to do, my name is Julie Shively, by the way, and I would like you to introduce yourself, tell us who you are, where you're from, how old you are, or what grade you're in, whichever you prefer, and then um, go ahead and start your presentation. And if there's still time left over, I would love to ask you a couple questions. Good evening. I am Jinhee al Qaeda Lee, a fifth grade student at the Prince of Peace Integrated School. And tonight I'm thrilled to share my skin saving research with you. Get ready to hear all about the magical Kamya soup. This 5 to 12 meter tall tree, originally from Southeast Asia and commonly found in household backyards, bears small green fruits, 4 centimeter in length, with a tart flavor used in various cuisines. Leaves of the tree can be used to treat itchy skin, insect or animal bites, swelling and rheumatism. But it also had some other uses such as my research today. I used the extract for my camia zone. Because camas is rich with antioxidants, vitamins B, C, and iron, this tree is very useful and beneficial for our skin. Because of its complex nutritional compounds, the mighty plant from the stem to the flower to the fruit, camas benefits for skin are overcoming acne, tinea versicolor, skin lightening, reduce signs of aging, and brighten dark lips. Every part of the tree is beneficial. Antifungal and antibacterial properties are present in camias. Camias is an ideal ingredient to incorporate into your skincare routine. It serves as a potent natural exfoliant, effectively eliminating pore clogging impurities and pesky acne, leaving your skin refreshed and re revitalized. Camias packs a powerful punch of minerals and vitamins that can help turn back the clock on your skin. Say goodbye to wrinkles and hello to youthful glow. Vitamin C is an essential element that effectively diminishes dark spots, redness, irritation, and puffiness, making it a must-have in your skincare arsenal. How can we create this product of mine? Here are the materials. Beaker, containers, aloe vera baby oil, greater for extract, rubber scraper, knife, measuring spoons, Soap dish, glycerine, camia cream jelly, turbo broiler. First things first. Slice that glycerine soap base. Just be extra cautious with that knife. I used the Kamias cream jelly recipe since I couldn't get my hands on the Kamias fruit at first. But I didn't give up. I tested my luck and found the Kamias fruit and extracted it. Put the glycerin cubes and Kamias cream or the extract in the measuring cup. I also added aloe vera oil. To liquefy, kindly place the ingredients in a mixing bowl. I set the turbo to 10 minutes and heat it with 125 Celsius. After some time, remember to stir before pouring into the measuring cup. Pour the mixture into a mold or any suitable soap container. Freeze for 30 minutes. I used mine first to wash my hand. Then I experiment on using it on my own skin, applying it on my eczema. Conclusion. In conclusion, I can say that I will continually use this product as for now. I am confident that it's useful for me and I hope and pray that I can share this product to others too recommendation. I would recommend this solely to individuals experiencing mild discomfort in their skin. Thank you so much for the opportunity
opportunity given to me to share my research. Once again, I am Jinhi al Lee, a fifth grade student in the Prince of Peace Integrated School. Well done, very good. So um, I've had eczema for years, well, ever since I was very young like you. Um, I, and this is very interesting to me then because um, I know that we have a lot of store-bought soaps that claim they're gentle or that they won't um, make your eczema worse, but I haven't found one that's quite like this that, that would help it too. So where is this tree growing? Is it in the Philippines only or, or does it grow outside of the Philippines? Uh, Southeast Asia. Okay. And um, how did you discover the beneficial properties of this particular tree? Uh, did, did that make sense? How did you figure out this tree was good? Uh, it had a lot of vitamin I was I found it uh, I found about it that it had a lot of vitamin C so I researched I kept on researching until I figured out that camias is good for the skin so I decided to use it as soap okay so you figured that out but then how did you figure out the right balance of ingredients and the preparation for your soap did you have to try a lot of different batches to get it to, to be the right consistency for you? Or how did you figure out how to make it? I... No. Do you want me to say that over and say it different? Yes. Okay. How did you make the recipe? How did, how did you know how much of each ingredient to put in that recipe? I kept on, kept on trying and trying, kept on trying until I figured out this one type of consistency works. Okay. And have you been using it? Yes. And and has it cleared up your any skin issues you had? Not cleared, but healed my eczema and had and it felt less itchy after I used the soap. So what are you planning to do? Are you are you do you just make it for yourself or friends and family or do you plan on selling the soap? I am planning on selling the soup and sharing the soup. And, and how will you sell it? Uh, I'd say small shop in front of house, in front of the house. Do you have a small shop in the front of your house? Not yet, but I might make one. Oh, okay. You're going to make a shop in the front of your house. Ah, well, if you get popular enough, maybe I'll find it online someday and be able to try it myself because I would I would love to get rid of that itchy feeling that you get from eczema. Okay. So what was the hardest part of it or most difficult part? The most difficult part of making the soap? Yeah. The, I'd say the cutting. The cutting of the ingredients? Yes. And why was that hard? Was it hard because it has to be very precise? It was hard because it has to be precise and uh, I almost cut my finger off. Oh. <laughs> That's why I, I'd say it's the hardest. That's the reason why. You might have to come up with a new invention now, something to protect your hands when you're wanting to cut all these ingredients up. I'd rather say that I need more precision and more practice with the knife. <laughs> that is probably true. 
So um, it looks like you need to figure out how you're going to package the soap because right now it looks like in that picture that you just have it wrapped in some kind of plastic. Yes. <clears throat> Do you have some ideas on how you want to package it when you decide to sell it? Since I'm still small right now, I'd rather say small boxes like this. Is that box plastic? Yes. Ah, uh, could you find um, a box that's maybe cardboard or something where you don't have to use plastic? Because that would be better for the earth, right? Yes. I mean, I know that when cardboard gets wet, it's not good for it, but you're going to buy the soap in a package then you're going to take it out and you're not going to put it back in the package anyway. So you might as well not create more plastic problems and just use something that's, you know, cardboard or paper, like they have little paper um, sleeves that you could put things like that in. Some of them even have a window in them so you can see what's inside. Okay. And then you could be environmentally friendly as well. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. One last question for you. Do you have some ideas of what else you might want to make now that you've made this soap? Uh, I'd say lotion. Yeah, that or would be good. Uh, or maybe more so. How about a shampoo? Shampoo? Well, people with itchy um, itchiness from eczema also have itchy scalp sometimes. And maybe you can make, unless your soap that you already made works on hair, on scalp. Have you tried it on your head? I haven't yet. Try it on your head. And if it's, if it's not good for your head, then you'll know. I mean, if it makes your hair greasy or something like that, then you don't want to do that. But maybe you could come up with a shampoo that uses that, that same um, product from the tree and help people with itchy scalp. Okay. I will, I will <laughs> think of it. Okay. <laughs> And um, I congratulate you for this great work. I love it when an idea is born out of empathy. Um, and in this case, it was empathy for people that have eczema and other um, skin issues. So very good, well done. And uh, please join us again at a future global innovation field trip and let us know how it's going, how much you're selling, whether you've got that store in front of your house yet, and just give us an update in the future. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you thank very you so much. much. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.